Howdy, I'm Alligator Ron Bergeron, and I'm with my daughter, Diamond Bergeron, the vice president of the Bergeron Everglades Foundation, and we're here at Green Glades West that borders the Big Cypress Preserve. We're here today to document compatible water levels with the environment, the ecology, and all of our wildlife. So important as we go forward with Everglades restoration. And it's important to document all of our observations to state and federal agencies so that they're able to make the best decisions for Everglades restoration. It's crazy that we're only two weeks into the wet season having this much water. Yeah, I know. We're inside of a cypress dome, and if you look, you can see the high water mark on the cypress trees. We're two weeks into the rainy season, and we're within a few inches of the high water mark, with four and a half months of rainy season ahead of us. So it's important as we go forward with Everglades restoration that we make sure that we're not introducing foreign water into a rain-driven system. And as you and I both know, Florida's weather is predictably unpredictable. Yep. So it's important that we keep these events in mind when we're making Everglades restoration decisions. For sure, because water quantity greater than natural destroys the environment. Lack of water, the same way. It's a very sensitive balance in a wetland. And understand that the Big Cypress Preserve is 50% uplands and 50% wetlands. And the upland sheet flow into these beautiful cypress domes and replenishes this very pristine area. So we're gonna continue through this majestic and mysterious swamp to all kinds of locations and be able to share this information with state and federal agencies to make sure that we are truly restoring and not destroying. Now we're up in an upland, you can see the pine islands and the oak trees, and that provides refuge for the fur-bearing animals, like these beautiful deer behind us. So when it rains out here, you have a natural drainage, sheet flowing from the uplands to the wetlands, and very important that we have proper water levels in the beautiful Big Cypress. We're standing in a wetland right on the edge of a pine island. And as you can see, the pine island's within a three to four inches of the elevation of the water level. So important that the water levels do not enter the upland species or it would destroy the environment. Now we're in Bear Island, a beautiful pine island, an upland, which is very important to the bear. Matter of fact, if you look at this tree, you can see where these bears get up against the trees and rub their backs and the back of their heads. So it's so important as we go forward with Everglades restoration that the water levels are compatible with these beautiful pine islands, all in the Big Cypress Preserve, the refuge for fur-bearing animals. Not only refuge for the bear, but refuge for our panthers, the beautiful deer, and all the fur-bearing animals that live in the Big Cypress Preserve. And this is a favorite location for me. This is a main corridor for the panther. You can see our trail cameras here, and we've been documenting dozens of panthers traveling this corridor here. So let's go inside and, and see what the water levels are in this geographical area. Now you can see the water is so deep. Actually, our camera is underwater. This is uh, extremely high water at the beginning of the rainy season. 
knowing that we have four and a half months of rainy season ahead of us. Water can get this deep, but it's normally in October, the tail end of the rainy season, not the beginning. And this particular area is the main corridor for the panther and the connectivity to the Caloosahatchee for the panther to expand its range. So really important that as we communicate with state and federal government, that we do what's right for the environment and make sure that we're not introducing foreign water into this rain-driven system. What's important to understand, when it rains in this rain-driven system, the upland sheet flow into the beautiful cypress swamps. And as the water rises, the water levels come in to the Pine Islands. Important that the Pine Islands can only take water for a certain time frame. So water levels and quantity of water is extremely important in this environment that we don't have water standing in Pine Islands for any long length of time to have a healthy environment in God's landscaping. A good example, I'm standing in the middle of a road, in the middle of the Kissimmee Belly, and we have private property to our west and tribal land to our east. The Kissimmee Billy is a global system, and it's important that we protect the Kissimmee Billy. Doesn't matter if it's privately owned or tribal owned. We need to work together for the best interest of the environment to truly restore Everglades restoration and the Kissimmee Billy. We can't treat one side different than the other side. It's a system that functions together. And if you destroy half of it, the other half will die. So it's important that we make sure that the gravity flow by natural flow remains in place and the Everglades will live on for many generations to come. We're now in the Kissimmee Billy Strand, one of the most famous pristine cypress strands in all of the Everglades. In the background, we have trees that are certified to be 500 years old. They were there when the Spaniards landed and before America was formed. As you go farther in, we have the ghost orchids and the clamshell orchids and all of the beautiful plants in the Everglades. You can see the water levels here. We're within a few inches of the high water mark. And as I said earlier, we still got three and a half months to four months of the rainy season ahead of us. So it's important that we keep water levels in the Big Cypress Preserve compatible with all the wildlife, all the plant communities, and God's landscaping. My family's been in Florida for eight generations. I can remember my grandfather put me in an airboat when I was three years old. He was a game warden, and he brought me into the beautiful, mysterious, and majestic Everglades. I remember the wildlife, God's landscaping, and the sunsets. And I'm a very blessed man to be able to spend most of my life trying to save the Everglades, one of the natural wonders of the world. And it's important to the quality of life for future generations. It's our drinking water. And the Everglades replenishes the aquifer. Extremely important. So long live the Everglades. Mm -hmm.